So my area of research is the history of children's media culture, and that includes a whole range of topics. But the bottom line on why that, that broad area of research matters to me is because it really touches on the crucial themes and issues that are at the center of young people's lives today. It's about how young people grow up. It's about how their identities come into view. It's about how their schooling and learning develops. It's about how their future employment uh, might emerge and evolve. So in this way, it, it captures the central tensions and concerns that are really shaping young people's lives. And in that way, it feels always as though you're touching on some of the most important concerns in our society as a whole, not just in the lives of young people, but more broadly. I think that our media culture has an immense influence and spotlight effect on young people. To the extent that it has that spotlight effect, most young people are thought of as just receivers of culture, audiences, not actors, doers, makers, contributors of culture. That's just not true anymore. Young people in so many ways in cities are uh, refashioning how we think of cities, how we think of neighborhoods, how we think of young people in those places. This past year I brought in uh, a local, he's actually a national hip-hop artist, his name's Shad, and uh, he lives in Vancouver, brought him into that class to end the class, and it was a fantastic moment of uh, synthesis between the course, the content of the course, and this uh, music um, celebrity who was brilliant. He really was brilliant. He could talk to them about music in a way that the themes in our courses, in our course, uh, fit into their lives um, very clearly. And for many of the students in the room, it was acknowledgement and justification that what they think about and care about matters. That's a good moment.